Hey, Smiley Eagles, how's everybody doing today? This is Coach Patterson and... Miss Wilkes. We're here to talk to you a little bit about PBIS expectations. Um, some of the concerns that we have right now at Smiley is uh, the amount of referrals kids are getting for physical aggression. There is a lot of physical aggression going on here at Smiley Elementary, and when we are aggressive and we're aggressive and do things like that, we're not being very safe, or responsible, or respectful, and we want to make sure we're doing that every single day at Smiley Elementary School. As you can see, a lot of physical aggression, if you can look at this graph, is taking place on the bus or in the classroom. That means we're doing some in, uh, some behaviors that are not okay, and we want to make sure that we're fixing those behaviors. As you can see. When we look at all the referrals, when someone gets does something and has to get sent to the office, if you look, physical aggression is the one on the is the green one, which means is the most common activity. That's what people are getting in trouble for, and we don't want people to get in trouble and show those behaviors because we want them to be safe, responsible, and respectful. So, what is physical aggression? Physical aggression is hitting, punching, kicking, scratching, hair pulling. Ow. Basically using your hands or your feet to hurt someone else. If you're using your hands or feet to hurt someone else, that is physical aggression. And that is what we're asking you to help us get under control. We don't want, we want to make sure we all understand that sometimes we get frustrated. If someone tries to get in line in front of us, we want to get to our spot. And we may want to put our hands on them. But we know it's not being responsible or respectful or safe if I put my hands on them. The first, there's three steps that Miss Wilkes is going to talk to you about to stop and stop yourself from getting physically aggressive. And here they are. There's three things, like Coach Patterson said, there's three things that you can do before you put your feet or your hands on someone else to hurt them. Number one, if someone is doing something to bother you, tell them to stop. Put up the stop sign. Stop. Stop. I do not like that. Stop. That is not nice. Stop. Please don't do that. Those are some things you can say. Put up the stop sign and tell them to stop. The second step is to walk away. Walk away. Bye-bye. Ignoring you. You don't have to say that. But walk away from the situation. That gives, that gets you away from the person that is messing with you. Walk away. The third step, the third thing you can do after you have tried putting up the stop sign or walking away is to talk. Talk to your teacher. Talk to Coach Patterson or Miss Baird or Miss Hill. Talk to myself or Miss Tyson. You tell us what this person is doing to you that's really aggravating you and makes you want to put your hands on someone else before you do it. We want to make sure that everybody's having a uh, good day all the time here at Smiley and doing their best in the best learning environment and the safest learning environment we can. And we understand some people say, well, my mama said that if they put their hands on me, I'm supposed to hit them back. But hold on, stop. I just used one of the three steps. If someone is doing something to you, the first thing I can do instead of hitting back is to stop. Tell them, hey, stop that. I don't like that. Don't put your hands on me like that. If that doesn't work, once again, you got number two. What is it? Walk Bye -bye. away. Deuces. And then the next one is number three. If, they, if neither one of the first two works, then you know what you can do? Go tell a teacher. Hey, Miss Wilkes. SpongeBob SquarePants keeps putting his hands on me. Can you tell him to stop? And you can also tell the teacher, I've already tried telling them to stop, and I've tried walking away. Can you please help me? That's right. And that's what the teacher's there for, is to help you. And we also need to help each other. If someone is around you and you know that someone's doing something like that, tell them to stop. Help each other out. We're all in this together. So make sure, remember the three steps. Stop, walk away, or tell a teacher. Remember our three expectations, too. We want to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible so everybody has always has a good learning environment at Smiley. One more thing. One more thing. So you may be saying to yourself, but I'm not physically aggressive. I've never even had a write-up. How, how does this affect me? You can help people who you see. Um, if you see other students messing with other students, you can go and remind them. Ask them to stop. Tell them to stop. Here, Coach Patterson, I see that 
Miss Hill's really messing with you. Come with me. Let's I'm walk going. away. I'm getting away from so this situation. So those are some things that you can do even if you aren't the one being physically aggressive or if you haven't had a ride up. Be an be a upstander instead of a bystander and help 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 them out. If they're going through some of this and this is affecting some people in your class, we're asking you to be an upstander, not a bystander. That's right. And remember, if you think of this, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how it is cool to be kind. If you're kind and nice, then normally physical aggression will not happen. You guys have a great day. See you later. Bye, Smiley Eagles.